How do you get strangers on the internet to join up with you and do what you want? Hi, I'm Justin Hall. Recently, I sat down with media activist Kenyatta Cheese. I love Kenyatta, and not only because he loaned me the camera I used to produce The Justin Hall Show. You can support The Justin Hall Show by visiting my Patreon page and pledging a few dollars for a future episode. And now, this guy's Kenyatta. I'm Justin. Let's watch The Justin Hall Show! Okay. All right, wake up. So, um, could you say your name and introduce yourself? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kenyatta Cheese. Hi. Hi. Uh, I am a, a professional internet enthusiast. How did the internet come to occupy your enthusiasm? Uh, I think maybe a lot of it had to do with like who I was and, and what the situation I found myself in and realizing that I could make friends on the internet and find find the things I'm interested in on the internet in ways I couldn't find, you know, sort of geographically or through heredity or all the other things that kind of bind you. And eventually realized I could actually start building stuff there too. No matter what else he does, Gary Brolsma's Numa Numa Dance will be a classic in internet meme history. Create something that called Know Your Meme with a couple of friends. You know, Know Your Meme was about documenting internet memes, but it also became this thing of trying to understand the ways that people decide to take on an idea and decide to pass up along. Why something will sort of explode one day and disappear the next, how they decay over time how they become more than content, but they become actual language. They become ways for people to communicate. The awesome thing about internet memes is that it is a folk art, like it is emergent. It's a meme, you'll see uh, a thousand different versions of it. And uh, you know, it's iterated over the whole, all over the place. If it's something that's more viral, it's like the one clip, the one clip, the one clip that everyone shares, and that's where you see it replicated in lots of places. I uh, realized I really wanted to understand how well, how that plays out over time. Uh, turns out fandoms are a really interesting place to, to get into stuff. So I started consulting for folks like BBC America and got to get a really good understanding of how the universe of fans around Doctor Who kind of has kind of evolved and become like this amazing, amazing space of creators and and organizers that look less like the traditional idea of what, what a TV fan is, right? Uh, and more like organizers, like more like people who are creating community. And there's something incredible in that, right? There's something incredible about people finding each other regardless of maybe geography or where you were born or what family you are born into or, or anything else. And the fact you're able to find each other over the internet and, and be able to connect with somebody else that all has this common love. That's, that's incredible, it's great. Now we you know, have a company called Everybody Wants that does audience development for things that people love. What actions do you see people taking at the end of these sorts of connective experiences with media objects? They're learning to express themselves. They're teaching each other how to better express themselves. You know, we don't teach people how to be community organizers. Right? We don't teach people how to find other like-minded uh, folks, folks, folks. I think there's going to be a greater need for it. I don't think we're necessarily going to meet that need. I think there are going to be a lot of things that are going to look like community organizing that will probably end up acting more like marketing or acting in ways that aren't necessarily beneficial to both, say, a creator and, and an audience. But I think the ones that do figure that out are going to do really interesting things down the line. We're like One Direction fans on Twitter who meet every day to try to figure out how to get a different version of a One Direction hashtag to trend. That's a lesson in a, an exercise in community organizing that's going to manifest itself in, in interesting ways five, ten years from now, right? When a lot of folks who are doing that start to you know, expand their world and expand the, the things that they care about. And maybe they do get involved with, with something that feels more traditionally political or just sort of community-oriented. It's gonna be really interesting, right? They're gonna have a completely different like, view on the stuff than we do. Is optimism or pessimism even applicable? How do you answer that question? I always get the impression that you're optimistic. Is that right? Yeah, I think I'm optimistic as a strategic thing because 
um, if you really sit and think that it's not working out, it can get really dark really fast. And and there's there's a there's a there's a lightless space I can find in my mind that is very bleak and. Um, would lead me to believe that the whole pro human project is waste and vanity and pain and greed. And I would prefer to think that it's uplift and connection and, you know, mutual yeah. experimentation for positive outcomes. But figuring out what positive is is tough when it seems like so much of it's a zero-sum game. I don't know. I, 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 I waver. <laughs> <laughs> can't just think about ourselves, we have to think about uh, how do we actually set all of us up for this magically cyberpunk future called tomorrow. I'm sorry to ignore you this whole time, I've been looking here a lot and I've, this is what happens when you start talking about things, you just sort of go and go and go and go and go, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh my god, you're in a room too. I'm so, ugh, oh, it's so rude of me. I'm sorry. We, but we, we should talk, catch up later though, you and I. We'll, 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 we'll talk later. It's good seeing you. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that intimacy. People like you support The Justin Hall Show on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash justin.